YouTube. All right, back here at the fish hatchery. This is the northernmost point trailhead of the Sawatch Range, not including Holy Cross, but it's the northernmost point where there's 14 14ers all in a row from Leadville down to Salida. And uh, I'm going to attempt to do Mount Massive in, if the weather holds, Mount Elbert today. Mount Elbert is the tallest mountain in all of Colorado, so that's kind of cool. All right, so let's, you know, just doing my thing up here in the wild mountains. Oh, man. Let's do this. Get to use my new gloves. Let's give him a shot on the smartphone. Oh, hello. Legs are a little tired, but that's all right. It's the kind of stuff you gotta push through to uh, help your legs adapt to training while tired. So there's the top. I'm contemplating not going to the top to save the legs for a workout later in the week. Anyway, I just, uh, you know, I've been running a lot. Ooh, there's the top. I'm so close, I'm probably like 20, 30 minutes away, but that is still a lot of effort into your legs. So I'm just thinking, just thinking out loud here. Oh, but it is a beautiful view. Oh man. Oh. They tired. Oh, I decided to turn around. <coughs> you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. My legs are tired, and the balls of my feet, right by my toes, it's a little sore, a little tender. I need, we're like two weeks out, actually the race is two weeks from today. So I need to focus on like recovery, stretching, ice baths, Epsom salt baths, massage, all that little stuff that, you know, you kind of put off because you're feeling good. And then, as you train more, your body is like, oh, ow. Especially your legs. So I'm feeling that right now. I'm glad I turned around when I did because now, if I do one, if I do three, maybe four, maybe five days of good recovery, I'll be able to uh, hit it hard again on Gray's or Pike's Peak later this week. Whew! Oh. oh, I just need to go sleep. It's the bottom line. You know, I've been getting up too early. Too early. Let's go. And we're back. Ah. Legs need a rest. Ice bath, Epsom salt, little vino. Here we come. Oh, praise him. Praise him. Oh, I'm a hurting unit. And we're back to Denver. Uh, Costco, here we come, getting ice for that ice bath. I am serious about this recovery. Like, it reminds me of my college days running at CU, and you know, you you go run for an hour, hour and a half, but then you spend an hour, hour and a half, ice bath, stretching, massaging. So it's time to get serious and pick up a little vino along the way. Yes, indeed.
I ran into true love at Costco. And I knew that I would. I believe it. This is the best moment of my life. You want to show them what you got? Oh my gosh, look at these for the kids. Da 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 da. We're on the ball. We're, we're just getting we're just getting ready here. Getting ready. Oh, honey, love you. Let me push this. I'm telling you, I got some crazy things going, man. I knew, Bridget texted me about an hour ago saying she was going on a grocery run, and I just knew I was gonna see her at Costco. I mean, that is a huge store, and you know, I could have arrived five minutes later, five minutes earlier, but I just knew, in my gut, gotta have faith, right? Gotta have faith. I knew I was going to see her in that huge store. I just knew. Gotta sit down. You can't think about it. Oh. Oh. You press your leg sleeves white like that. And then this. Oh yeah. I forgot about these. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna have to show you what these are tomorrow because the vlog's getting a little long, all right? Let's just say it involves the foot. Oh, am I excited. Wow. Amazing. Seek beauty, work hard, work on being. If you struggle with that, I know I do. That's one of my weaknesses is just be.